I am. Uh, thank you very much for organizing this uh, debate. The other time, I the other time I did not come because I was far away. <laughs> but I also had some questions about the the method of debate. But uh, there is no harm. Since there are some people who watch the TV, uh, there is no harm in talking to, to them. Now, I am here to talk about Uganda, not about fiction. <laughs> if you want fiction and you want uh, a, Nobel, a Nobel Prize for literature, and composition, then you can talk the way you, are, you want to talk. Uganda, 1900, was a feudal country of different kingdoms, 1900. 1962, it was what we call an enclave economy. An enclave economy means a small island of modernity in the midst of a sea of underdevelopment. Those professors, I'm sure, know what we are talking about. <laughs> An enclave economy. That economy of 1962 was described as an economy of the three C's and the three T's. That's, what they used to, that's how they used to characterize that economy at that time. The three C's were cotton, copper, and coffee. And the three T's were tobacco, tourism, and, uh, and tea. By 1986, the small island, the enclave, had almost disappeared. That's what we are talking about. So it was the job of the NRM to revive that small island of modernity. And we have not only revived it, we have expanded it and integrated it with the economy. Therefore, whatever you talk about, talk about Uganda as it is, not as it should have been, because it wasn't. <laughs> and I am glad I came here this morning, this uh, evening, to talk to all of you directly when you are all here. Because the, the reason I'm not sure about the mode is, is the short time, because these are big issues. They are not issues for, for school debate, I actually said. It. <laughs> but, but finally, since I'm in this debate, I'm debating. <laughs> finally, about democracy. Democracy means the people support you. If they don't support you, you don't win. That's all. Thank you very much.